On SNG Daily, let's look at the stories that are making headlines across the globe. Prime Minister Modi is off to Bhutan next week for discussions with his counterpart Shering Topge. The latter was in Delhi on his first overseas visit following his victory in the January elections. Bhutan-China boundary talks and rail connectivity between southern Bhutan and West Bengal are expected to figure high on Modi's agenda. He is also expected to review progress on various India-funded development projects. A Reuters report says Hamas has proposed a ceasefire that would see them release Israeli hostages in return for 700 to 1,000 Palestinians being held by Tel Aviv. It was not clear how many Israeli hostages Hamas is holding and how many would be released. The Hamas offer said a permanent ceasefire could be scheduled after the exchange of hostages for Palestinians takes place. Israel had dismissed the offer as unrealistic but will respond formally shortly. Russia heads to the polls on Sunday with the result a foregone conclusion. President Vladimir Putin is expected to win, which means he stays on in office until 2030. With no visible challenger and the economy doing well, 3.6% growth last year, despite over 16,000 international sanctions in place, Putin is expected to smoothly coast to victory. As yet, there is no significant public opposition to the war in Ukraine. Mohammad Mustafa, a trusted aide of Palestinian President Mohammad Abbas, is the new Prime Minister of the Palestinian Territories. He has to form a new government for the Palestinian Authority, which is responsible for administering the West Bank. Mustafa's appointment is seen to have US approval since he is considered a liberal. It is also seen as the first step towards Palestinian Authority returning to govern Gaza. UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has dismissed speculation about early elections in May. He has indicated that the elections could be held in the second half of this year. With the ruling Conservative Party trailing Labour by 20 points in the opinion polls, Sunak may have considered it safer to aim for elections later and give the Conservatives time to rebuild their low public standing. Sunak may have gone for an early election if his position came under threat. For more such videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the like button and follow for more.